Hello my loves, my name is Gina. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, guys, if you are interested in crystals to heal and clear your chakras for anxiety, depression, insomnia, you can visit Kim K Crystals. The link to her website is below. Um, she does live crystal sales on Facebook. Those events are a lot of fun. She gives a, a bunch of stuff away and I choose winners for free readings at those live events. Um, so if you'd like to check it out, the, uh, Facebook link is below. Okay. Um, what else? Special shout out to Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot 1111, Owl Tarot, and Distilled Tarot. Um, the links for those channels should be in the description box below under recommended readers, okay? Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I do choose multiple winners every single month. Um, I give away a bunch of stuff in the description box below. You'll see a whole list of everything that I give away. Just go ahead and hashtag in the description box, in the comment section below, excuse me, what you would like to manifest or win for the, um, the giveaway. Okay. And don't forget to click that notification bell. So you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. All right, let's get started. All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I hope everyone likes the new view. Let me know in the comment section. All right, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. <coughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. What messages do we have here today for Leo, please, Spirit? What messages do we have here today for Leo, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. What messages does Leo need to hear today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Ooh, I caught it. I caught it for my Leos, please. Okay. So we have the Six of Cups and the Nine of Wands. And we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Seven of Wands. Okay. Under the deck, we have the world card. So Leo, this could be your side. This could be your person side. Take it as it resonates. So Leo, I feel like what's happening here is someone is trying to block an ex or block childhood memories, block a, fire, a, 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 <coughs> a family member, excuse me. With the King of Cups, the reason why this is hard, Leo, is because there's still love there, a tremendous amount of love. But what's happening here is somebody is trying to gain control of their emotions, master that, and, you know, it's kind of this energy of, I know this situation's not good for me, even though I love it, even though I wish it could work out, I have to, I have to end this. I have to block this person. It's going to take just about all the strength you got here with the nine of wands, okay? It's going to take all you got to close out this cycle. So I don't know if that's you, Leo, or your person, but it's going to be difficult. It's going to be very difficult for the person on this side. Um, they're trying to do the right thing. I feel like the person on this side is just trying to do the right thing by closing this out even if they still love this person tell me about leo please spirit tell me about leo please spirit tell me about leo tell me about the nine of wands the nine of wands please tell me about the nine of wands so we have the ten of pentacles tell me about the six of cups tell me about the six of cups Okay, so we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre Empress Energy, and we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. So, what's happening here, Leo, is this person is shutting out the cycle because they want a Ten of Pentacles. Someone here wants stability, they want a family, they want a future, they want to accomplish their goals, and I feel like there's no stability here. The Four of Wands talks about, you know, having your perfect counterpart, that perfect teammate. You both want the same things, you both work towards the same things, right? Um, it also talks about stability, getting married, moving in together, you know, stability. And with this in the reverse, I feel, Leo, that the person on this side is feeling like they're better off alone. I'm better off alone so that this way I have the chance to go from a nine to a 10. Do you see what I'm saying? Because in this connection, it's just not happening. It's just not, I may love you, but 
it's either <coughs> I stay with you and don't achieve anything in life because you're. it's like this person is unstable, non-committal. You guys don't want the same things. You're not on the same page. King of Cups. Yeah, see, the lover's card. Gemini energy. I feel like Leo, the person on this side has a tremendous amount of love. I feel like this might be a karmic soulmate because there's a lot of soulmate cards here. The lover's card, the four of wands, and with the world card, it, I feel like it's karmic cycles that are shutting out. Even though there's love here, someone realizes that there may be a better option out there. Okay? Yeah, see, someone here is being divinely guided to walk away. They're being divinely guided to give up, to walk away, defeat, because what we have here possibly is with the hanged man and the king of wands, Piscean energy, Leo Sagittarius energy, what we have here is maybe somebody that is waiting, that wants to continue to stall the connection. We might have someone here that likes to um, go out, be flirtatious. Someone here maybe just likes attention from a lot of people, and they're not really focused on the same goals that this person's focused on. The person on this side is not focused on, I mean, it's not to say that the person on this side, I'm sure, doesn't like to have fun. That's not the case. But this person is more focused on buying a house, getting married, you know, investing a 401k, like big things. You see what I'm saying? <coughs> and someone here is looking for a teammate that wants those same things. And it's just not happening. Tell me about the seven of wands. And the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So again, we've got the King to the Queen of Wands here. Very strong soul tie. Very, very strong soul tie with this person. But still, this person's in the energy of you may be a soulmate. I may have a tremendous amount of love for you, but I have to, I have to push that away. I have to overcome how I feel. I have to overcome my love for you. I have to shut out this karmic cycle so that I can move on and have the things that I want out of life. So what's happening in this connection is it was moving too slow. And with the moon card, I feel like the person on this side was saying, well, is it ever going to happen? When is it going to happen? When are you going to commit? When are we going to start focusing on these things? With the two of wands, there's just this, this energy of, you know, looking at the future, wanting to make goals, wanting to work on things. And someone was constantly being left in the dark as to, you know, when can we start looking into buying houses? When can we announce that we're together on Facebook? When, 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 you know, and this person just wants to take their sweet time. And that's not the energy of what's here. This person wants to, to, to manifest. They want to build a life. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Okay. Under the deck, we've got the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. So here we have the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. We have the Four of Swords and the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. <coughs> So first thing I'm first thing that stands out guys is we've got an empress and a page. Okay, we have an empress and a page. There may be a really big age difference between you and this person or just on a emotional level or just, you know, two totally different pages here, okay? I feel like with the Ace of Swords and the 4 of Pentacles, the person on this side is coming to realize that they're very selfish. OK, um, that they haven't really given much to the connection. And with the four of swords and the page of wands, someone here is going to come in wanting to communicate about healing the situation. Problem is here, Leo, is that the person that's coming in wanting to fix this um, they're very selfish. It's a very selfish energy. And I feel like <clears throat> this person um I, this may be a child, a mother child or father child dynamic type of relationship where one person just wants to be taken care of while the other person carries all the weight type of thing. Um, but page of wands are, are promises that tend to fizzle out, guys. You know what I'm saying? So someone here maybe is just saying whatever they need to say in the moment to hold on to you.
I feel like this person is going to come in and tell you that they want commitment with you, that they've made the decision that you are the only one for them, that they want to, you know, marry you or have children with you. Um, they're coming in with all of these promises, but they're pro making these promises as a page. Tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about these four of pentacles, please. Tell me about the four of pentacles here for Leo, please. The ace of pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, the Sun, Leo energy. So Leo, the person on this side knows exactly what to say to make you happy. They know. <coughs> they know everything that they've been withholding from you. The offer of real commitment, um, the stability, something tangible. They know exactly what you want to hear. They know what they, with that four of pentacles energy, they know what they've been holding back. They know what they have not invested into this connection. Four of swords, please. And the nine of swords. Now this person is having fear. They're having trouble sleeping. They're really worried and they're wanting to heal this. Tell me about the page of wands. And the Nine of Cups. So again, two very, you know, selfish energies with the Nine of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. This person is coming in as a page. They're making a lot of promises um, because they, they, they're they saying whatever you want to hear. They're saying your wish fulfillment. But ultimately, deep down inside, this person is making these promises because they want their wish fulfillment. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, again, they're coming in as a page. You're coming in as an empress. So Cancer, this could be an, you know, an energy of you care for this person like they're a child. You know what I'm saying? Or you pay for everything. Or, oh, did I say Cancer? I'm sorry, guys. Leo, I apologize. Um... So Leo, that you know, you may take care of this person financially. You may uh, give this person some form of love or care or attention that they don't want to lose. You see what I'm saying? So they're coming in to offer to tell you everything that you want to hear. Yeah, see, so they can't handle the thought of you walking away. Ten of Wands and the Six of Swords. They they can't. They, they that does not sit well with them, Leo. That does not sit well with them. <clears throat> yeah so the challenge here is leo is the two of swords i i didn't ask but it just fell out of my hand so i'm going to take it and it's the perfect amount of cards too so the two of swords the seven of cups and the ace of cups <clears throat> the challenge here is leo is someone has you have a, a lot of options okay either you have a lot of options or this person has a lot of options the challenge is cutting off these options and finding the best one when you see the ace of cups and the seven of cups that is finding the person that is meant for you out of all of these options and the two of swords talks about not knowing what decision to make we have the ten of cups and the high priestess under the deck i feel like Leo, someone here may find somebody that knew, you know what I'm saying? It might be a secret and you know, you know that this is your 10 of cups or you may meet someone and intuitively know that this person is meant for you. So this is the challenge. On this person's side, the challenge may be that they don't want to commit because they have a lot of options <coughs> and they have to cut them all off and only love one person. That might be the challenge. And on this side, Leo, the person that say, is saying there's something better, the challenge is going to be cutting this person off, pursuing other options to find the best one. Tell me about the outcome here, please. Tell me about the outcome here, please. We've got the four of, oh, the four of wands, the devil, and the high priestess. This could be Twin Flame, guys, because we've got the Two of Wands here. The Devil, uh, we've got the Four of Wands here twice, I meant to say. The Devil, Capricorn Energy, and the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. Under the deck, the Nine of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Leo, this person is really scared that you are going to end up meeting someone else and fall in love with the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles look at what we have right here leo see the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles they're afraid that you know what i'm saying your feelings for them are going to change and you are going to find you're going to be single and you're going to find your one pentacle and go live happily ever after with someone else they're afraid with the high priestess here i feel like this person um 
isn't showing how they truly feel. But with the devil card here, I feel like this person... Um, they want this with you like it's weird because they don't they don't want to give it to you right now this stability but they don't want you to have it with anyone else <clears throat> so they don't want to love you but they don't want anyone else to love you either all right so leo let's go ahead and take it into the extended let's see what's going to happen here if you if you are 100 percent dead set on going towards new love let's see what we have coming in what's coming towards you and for others of you that want to continue to give this a chance and see what will happen if this person will ever change will they ever be the right person to give you the stability the stability i can't speak that you need um we'll figure that out in the extended okay the link is going to be in the description box below and in the comment section below. Let me know how you guys like the new setup. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.